blessings. What has been going on? What hasn't been going on? I have a large household. I got two new puppies. I got one, two, three, going to be four new people here in the bud den. It is much like my magic. Hey, Ash. My mother asked me the other day, just yesterday, in fact, she asked me why, why do I do what I do? Why do I take in people? She asked me, she said, do you do it for the money? If I did it for the money, I sure the hell wouldn't have got stuck with a $700 some odd electric bill that took me months to catch up with. I felt slightly used. The goddess has a way of taking care of that. You hush now. And, um... You know, I take people in because I've met them along my path. Some people shine to me, stuck out like a sore thumb. And what goes around comes around. And those are the ones that come back to me. I don't think that's a quality that I should change about myself. I sacrifice a lot of my own personal peace of mind, um, my own quality time, family time, time with my husband to help other people. And the thing is, is my husband, he's also very much a humanitarian and, and he's much like myself. Um, but my mother, my own mother, she asked me, why, why do you do this? I said, because I know what it's like to have nothing, to have nobody, to have no support, to have no home. I know what that's like. And a little peace of mind and um, quiet time and all that. Those are small sacrifices that I make. Do you all not know how beautiful you really are? Each and every one of you. You are so much more. Can you feel me? When all faith and hope is lost, what, what is there? Yeah, it gets noisy sometimes and I get frustrated. But this is a part of what I do. It's a part of my ministry. No, I don't just take in strangers from off the street. I got to go by my gut vibe if I barely know you. I knew a time when no one would take me in. I was young. The streets, the streets took me in. And uh, I learned the ways of the streets. I never lost respect for myself. 
I knew that I was more valuable than the streets. And I came up from the streets of the ghetto. I have my own family now. I appreciate these things. The very gratitude of the pit of my soul. And I'm learning to take things one day at a time. I've, I've come through some changes this year. And um, I think I think the hardest part was me coming in to terms with I felt that I had lost my smile. And um, in some ways, I, I, I think I lost my smile a long time ago. So, you know, that's not really important. And I, and I went through a phase where I wasn't sure if I even wanted to make videos anymore. And I thought, Violet. Are you really that vain? So if you have any rude comments that you would like to make about the snaggle tooth hag, let's post them right down there. I'm waiting. I didn't think so. I'm sure a few oddballs will probably start making fun of me, but I I wouldn't really do that if I were you. I don't think it would benefit your well-being any. And I am trying to embrace my crowning phase. I, I'm in between mother and crone. And I want to acknowledge um, the goddess Diana. I worship her as a sake. It's raining cats and dogs here. I'm expecting my husband home soon and my daughter and um, her uh, friends that we're taking in here at the blood pen. And that's an act of good faith on, on my daughter's behalf because uh, she's really, she she's like her mom and her dad. She wants to take him under her wing. So I basically wanted to get on here and let y'all know what's been going on with me. Been going through some of my own personal growth, different phases of my life. And I'm still here. And I'm wishing you all many blessings. And we're coming into Inbolt. And that is the mother's milk. So let's keep our hearts and our minds focused on the mother. I love her. The earthly mother and my earthly mother, of course. My grandmothers. My ancestral mothers. And I just want to wish you all a happy impulse. Love, light, and blessings. <laughs>